Stop Settling for Less Written and published by Engas Life In a life where achieving success often depends on our capacity to influence and convince others, it can be frustrating to feel like we're always accepting less than what we should have. In our personal relationships, professional endeavors, and everyday interactions, the ability to persuade is an important skill that can help us overcome challenges and reach our objectives. Stop settling for less. Get what you need from everybody is a practical guide that aims to empower you with effective tools and techniques for mastering persuasion. This book offers practical lessons that will help you master the skills of confidence, empathy, active listening, and strategic thinking. By applying these skills, you will be able to effectively influence others and achieve your goals in any situation. This book covers all the essential elements of effective persuasion, including learning how to give genuine compliments, offer valuable assistance, and understand the importance of flexibility and compromise. You'll learn how to effectively communicate with others, present persuasive arguments, and influence others to adopt your suggestions. After reading this book, you will feel more confident in your ability to influence others and reach your goals. You'll no longer settle for anything less than what you deserve. Instead, you'll gain the knowledge and skills to effectively communicate your needs in all areas of your life. If you're ready to tap into the power of persuasion and shape your own future, then stop settling for less. Get What You Need From Everybody is the book for you. It will guide you on a transformative journey towards mastering the art of influence. Lesson 1. Have confidence in yourself. Having self-confidence is incredibly important as we strive to reach our goals and navigate the challenges of life. Having confidence in ourselves allows us to explore endless opportunities and access new paths that might have otherwise been inaccessible. Having confidence allows us to communicate our needs, convince others to understand our point of view, and ultimately, achieve our goals with everyone we interact with. Understanding is crucial for building successful relationships, both personal and professional, and for influencing and inspiring others. Developing self-confidence is a process that starts with understanding and embracing oneself. We need to honestly assess ourselves, recognizing both our strengths and weaknesses, and embracing our individual qualities that define us. Developing a strong sense of identity involves gaining a deep understanding of our values, beliefs, and capabilities. This understanding helps us stay grounded and unaffected by external factors or the opinions of others. We are empowered to face challenges and seize opportunities with confidence, knowing that we possess the necessary strength and resilience to overcome any obstacle. Effective communication is a major advantage that comes with self-confidence. When we communicate with confidence and clearness, others are more inclined to pay attention and regard our words seriously. Having confidence enables us to express our thoughts and ideas in a clear and convincing manner, making it simpler to convey our message and sway the opinions of others. Confident communication is incredibly powerful in various situations, such as negotiating business deals, resolving conflicts with loved ones, or expressing our needs in social settings. In addition, confidence can easily spread to others. When we project confidence, it has a positive impact on the people around us. People who have a strong sense of self naturally attract others, inspiring trust, respect, and admiration. When we show belief in ourselves, we inspire others to believe in us too. This creates a cycle of positive reinforcement, where our confidence is strengthened by the encouragement and approval we receive from others, enhancing our ability to achieve our goals in any situation. Developing self-confidence takes time, effort, and dedication. It requires us to push beyond our comfort zones, embrace fresh challenges, and gain insights from both our triumphs and our setbacks. Whenever we confront a challenging situation and come out on top, 
It strengthens our confidence in ourselves and our capacity to conquer obstacles. On the other hand, when we face challenges or difficulties, it's important to see them as chances to learn and reflect on ourselves, rather than as judgments of our value or abilities. Surrounding ourselves with supportive and uplifting people is a powerful way to cultivate confidence. Having a supportive network of people who believe in us and our potential makes it more effortless to believe in ourselves. Find mentors, friends, and colleagues who motivate and support you to reach your full potential. Partake in activities and follow your passions that bring you joy and fulfillment. This will naturally enhance your confidence and self-esteem. Creating a supportive and encouraging environment helps us develop confidence and strength. Many times, we tend to focus on what we think are our weaknesses or shortcomings, which can make us overlook the numerous positive qualities and accomplishments that make us who we are. Make it a habit to regularly reflect on your achievements, even if they may appear insignificant. Take a moment to celebrate your accomplishments and recognize the effort and commitment it took to achieve them. When you prioritize your strengths and the value you offer, you strengthen your self-belief and confidence in making a meaningful impact in any situation. By embracing a mindset of curiosity and flexibility, we unlock a multitude of potential paths and chances for growth. Embrace failure as an essential part of the learning process and see setbacks as stepping stones on the path to success. Through embracing curiosity and an open mind, we can constantly develop and gain confidence in our capacity to handle difficult situations, no matter how intricate or demanding they may be. Our self-perception and abilities can be influenced by various factors such as the media, societal expectations, and the opinions of others. Developing a critical eye and a healthy skepticism towards messages that try to undermine our self, worth, or limit our potential is extremely important. It's important to surround yourself with positive and affirming influences and carefully choose the information and feedback that shapes your self-image. Developing self-confidence is a continuous process that demands consistent dedication and focus. It involves reflecting on ourselves, taking care of ourselves, and being open to stepping outside our comfort zones and embracing new challenges. Developing a strong sense of self and believing in our abilities can be a valuable asset in navigating life's challenges and reaching our goals. As you start your journey of self-discovery and personal growth, keep in mind that confidence is not a final goal, but rather a way of living. Showing up as your best self, believing in your own potential, and advocating for your needs and desires with clarity and conviction is a decision you can make. When you have confidence in yourself and believe in your abilities, you create endless opportunities and empower yourself to effectively communicate with others to meet your needs. Believing in ourselves forms the bedrock for cultivating meaningful connections, attaining our aspirations, and maneuvering through life's intricacies. It is a tool that allows us to communicate effectively, influence others, and create a positive and affirming environment for ourselves and those around us. By developing a strong sense of self-awareness, adopting a mindset focused on growth, surrounding ourselves with positive influences, and having confidence in our abilities, we open up a wide range of opportunities and gain the ability to effectively interact with others. Therefore, proceed with assurance, and be aware that you possess the power, determination, and capability to accomplish whatever you desire. Lesson 2. Give them a genuine compliment. Compliments, when given genuinely and from the heart, can uplift, inspire, and foster a positive atmosphere that promotes cooperation, collaboration, elaboration, and mutual support. When you take the time to appreciate and recognize the strengths, talents, and achievements of others, it not only makes them feel valued and appreciated, but also helps to build a relationship based on trust, respect, and reciprocity. Receiving a genuine compliment can have a profound impact on us, boosting our self-esteem and reminding us that our hard work and contributions are valued. 
This positive reinforcement serves as a driving force, inspiring us to consistently pursue excellence and exceed expectations in our interactions with others. When you genuinely compliment others, you create a positive impact that can improve your relationships and lead to new opportunities and possibilities. Providing a genuine compliment requires being specific and sincere. Praising someone's efforts with generic phrases like good job or nice work may not have the same impact as a more specific and heartfelt acknowledgement. Instead, make sure to carefully observe and appreciate the distinct qualities, skills, and efforts of the person you want to compliment. Maybe they showed great leadership skills during a difficult project, or they always make an effort to support and mentor their colleagues. By emphasizing these particular qualities and behaviors, you demonstrate a sincere interest in their contributions and convey a genuine appreciation for their unique value and impact. Hollow compliments can erode trust and harm relationships. To make sure your compliments are sincere, it's crucial to develop a mindset of gratitude and appreciation. Make sure to take a moment to think about the positive qualities and contributions of the people in your life. It's important to consciously recognize and celebrate their successes and strengths. Compliments that stem from genuine admiration and respect have the power to create stronger connections and foster goodwill. Take this scenario. Someone has gone the extra mile to assist you with a project or has successfully tackled a major obstacle. In such cases, a genuine compliment can hold great significance and leave a lasting impression. Likewise, if someone is feeling down or uncertain, a sincere compliment can offer the necessary confidence and motivation to continue moving ahead. Considering the context and the relationship is crucial when giving compliments. Compliments in a professional setting should be centered around accomplishments, abilities, and contributions related to work. Ensure that compliments are appropriate and maintain a professional tone. On the other hand, when giving compliments to friends or family members, you have the freedom to appreciate their personal qualities like their kindness, generosity, or great sense of humor. It's important to customize your compliments based on the person and your relationship with them. So they come across as genuine and fitting. Compliments can vary in meaning across different cultures, sometimes leading to misunderstandings or unintended offense. It's important to familiarize yourself with the cultural background and preferences of the people you engage with so that you can tailor your compliments to suit their needs. In different cultures, there are varying perspectives on giving compliments about appearance or personal attributes. Some cultures view such compliments as inappropriate, while others see them as a way to show respect and admiration. By understanding and respecting cultural differences, you can ensure that your compliments are well received. One great thing about giving genuine compliments is that it helps foster a culture of positivity and appreciation, inspiring others to recognize and appreciate their own strengths and contributions can be achieved by consistently acknowledging and celebrating them. This creates a chain reaction where people are motivated to acknowledge and praise one another, fostering a nurturing and positive atmosphere. In such a conducive environment, people are more inclined to work together, exchange ideas, and make additional efforts to support each other's success. By sincerely complimenting others, you can create a positive atmosphere and improve relationships in your workplace or social circle. Remember, giving genuine compliments should never be about expecting something in return. It's important to recognize that compliments can play a significant role in fostering stronger relationships and gaining support from others. However, the key is to genuinely acknowledge and appreciate the people in your life. When compliments are given with hidden intentions or the expectation of something in return, it can weaken the genuineness of your words and harm trust. Instead, Try to freely and generously give compliments without expecting anything in return. By consistently showing appreciation and support for others, you will naturally attract the same positivity and goodwill in return. Offering sincere compliments can be challenging. 
particularly if you're not accustomed to expressing gratitude or if social interactions pose difficulties for you. However, with practice, the art of complimenting can be cultivated and strengthened. Begin by actively observing and recognizing the positive attributes and valuable contributions of those around you. Make sure to remember and acknowledge moments when someone has impressed or inspired you. It's important to express your appreciation to them. As you grow more at ease with expressing sincere compliments, it will seamlessly become a fundamental aspect of your communication style. It's important to graciously receive compliments along with giving them. It's important to appreciate and acknowledge genuine compliments with gratitude and humility. It's important to acknowledge and appreciate their words as it shows sincerity and gratitude. Instead, express genuine gratitude and recognize the effort and thought they invested in acknowledging your strengths and contributions. Receiving compliments with grace and appreciation helps to strengthen the positive cycle of acknowledgement and support that genuine compliments create. Amidst a world that frequently fixates on criticism and negativity, offering sincere compliments is truly a revolutionary gesture. It possesses the ability to uplift, inspire, and generate a ripple effect of positivity that reaches far beyond the initial interaction. By adopting a mindset of gratitude and appreciation and consistently recognizing the strengths and contributions of others, you can make a positive impact in both your personal and professional life. You can create a world where people feel valued, supported, and motivated to be their best selves. By doing so, you will attract the same positivity and goodwill that you put out into the world. As you navigate the intricacies of human interaction and strive to achieve your goals, keep in mind the positive impact of sincere compliments. Share them generously, share them genuinely, and share them frequently. Witness the growth of your relationships the widening of your opportunities and the infusion of positive energy and support that comes from expressing gratitude. Ultimately, when you uplift others with sincere compliments, you not only uplift yourself, but also foster a world where everyone has the opportunity to shine. Lesson 3. Give help and do a favor for the other people. Amanda was always motivated and determined always working hard to reach her goals and leave a lasting impact on the world. However, no matter how hard she tried, she frequently encountered difficulties in obtaining what she required from others. Amanda often found herself facing obstacles, both in her personal relationships and professional pursuits, that seemed to impede her progress and prevent her from reaching her true potential. One day, Amanda found a book that would have a profound impact on her life. She discovered it while sitting in her office, feeling frustrated and overwhelmed. Amanda discovered a concept that was both straightforward and impactful in the book The Power of Giving, How Helping Others Unlocks Your Own Success. It revealed that the secret to receiving what you require from others lies in offering assistance and doing favors for them. Excited by this concept, Amanda made the decision to implement it. She began by offering her help to a colleague who was facing a difficult project, even though it required her to work extra hours. To her astonishment, her co-worker not only showed immense gratitude for her assistance, but they also reciprocated by supporting Amanda in a crucial meeting, enabling her to successfully attain a highly sought after promotion. Amanda was inspired by her success and started integrating the concept of giving into all areas of her life. She generously offered her time and knowledge to assist a local charity in improving their operations. She took on the role of a mentor for a young professional, offering her expertise and helping them navigate the challenges of their career. She made a deliberate choice to be more attentive and supportive in her personal relationships, constantly seeking opportunities to offer assistance or perform considerate gestures. Amanda noticed a significant change in her life as she continued to give. Unexpectedly, doors that were once closed started to open as kind-hearted individuals went out of their way to offer their support and assist her in reaching her goals.
She quickly built a large professional network as both colleagues and clients sought her advice and collaboration. Her personal relationships thrived as those closest to her felt valued, appreciated, and eager to reciprocate her kindness. Amanda's giving mindset had a significant impact when she discovered that a close friend was facing challenges in starting their own business. Amanda readily volunteered to leverage her connections and expertise to assist them in obtaining funding and navigating the intricate realm of entrepreneurship. She dedicated extensive time to reviewing business plans, facilitating introductions, and providing guidance and support. Amanda's unwavering support and generosity played a crucial role in the tremendous success of her friend's business. When Amanda encountered a difficult situation in her career, her friend was there to support her and help her overcome any obstacles. As Amanda looked back on her journey, she came to the realization that the act of giving had profoundly changed her life in ways she never expected. Through her selfless acts of kindness and generosity, she had set in motion a chain reaction of positivity and support that propelled her to new levels of achievement and contentment. She had discovered that genuine success is not about receiving from others, but about giving. It's all about fostering a culture of generosity, kindness, and mutual support, where everyone supports and collaborates with one another to achieve common objectives. Amanda's newfound understanding became a source of inspiration for her community, motivating others to embrace the joy of giving and tap into their own potential for success and happiness. She understood that by consistently offering assistance and doing kind deeds for others, she could ensure that her own needs would always be met. This knowledge unlocked a path to a life brimming with abundance, meaning, and boundless opportunities. Amanda's gaze shifted towards the future, filling her with a fresh wave of anticipation and determination. She understood that the path of generosity was a lifelong endeavor, encompassing both obstacles and victories. However, she understood that by remaining committed to her principles and prioritizing the needs of others, she would consistently attract the backing, affection, and achievements she had always aspired to. With gratitude and a strong desire to create positive change, Amanda courageously ventured into the world, eager to encourage others to embrace the joy of giving. She had found a way to effectively communicate with others, which allowed her to live a fulfilling and meaningful life. Helping others and doing favors can have a profound impact on creating positive change and fostering a culture of mutual support in our complex web of human relationships. Helping others can have a profound impact on both their lives and our own. By offering assistance and showing kindness, we can create a positive chain reaction of goodwill that can bring about transformation. When we embrace a mindset of generosity and offer support to others, we create opportunities, forge deeper connections, and contribute to a world where everyone can benefit. The fundamental principle of reciprocity is at the core of giving help and doing favors. By providing help to others, we establish a strong connection of trust and gratitude that often motivates them to return the favor. We should offer help without expecting anything in return. By consistently showing kindness and support, we naturally attract positive energy and goodwill from others. When we are dependable and supportive, we become respected and trusted members of our communities. As a result, people are more likely to offer assistance when we are in need. Helping others and doing favors is beneficial for both the recipient and the giver. Engaging in acts of kindness and generosity brings about a deep sense of fulfillment and purpose. It brings us great satisfaction and joy to know that we have made a positive impact in someone's life, no matter how small. This positive emotion has a ripple effect on our own well-being enhancing ourself, a team alleviating stress and fostering a more positive perspective on life. Through consistently practicing acts of kindness and support, we develop a mindset that is more resilient and positive, enabling us to handle life's challenges more effortlessly and gracefully and gracefully. 
In addition, providing assistance and doing kind acts for others can be a valuable method for cultivating and enhancing relationships. Helping others shows that we genuinely care about their welfare and are willing to lend a hand. This act of kindness fosters a strong emotional connection and builds trust and loyalty, which can form the basis for lasting and mutually beneficial relationships. In both our personal and professional lives, having a strong network of supportive and loyal people is crucial for reaching our goals and navigating life's challenges. Through regular acts of assistance and kindness, we develop a strong network of support that we can depend on in times of need. It's crucial to understand that offering assistance and doing favors doesn't require us to compromise our own needs or well-being. It's important to strike a balance between being generous and supportive and setting healthy boundaries. This way, we can avoid overextending ourselves or enabling unhealthy patterns of behavior. Generosity is most genuine when it stems from a sense of abundance and self-care. It's important to prioritize our own needs before reaching out to help others. By striking a harmonious balance between taking care of ourselves and being generous, we can effectively provide assistance and support without becoming overwhelmed or harboring negative feelings. It's important to consider the specific needs and preferences of the people we're helping when offering assistance or doing favors. Different people have varying preferences, and what one person finds helpful or appreciated may not be the same for someone else. We can provide meaningful and impactful support by actively listening, asking questions, and understanding the specific situation and requirements of the person we are helping. We strive to provide personalized assistance, showing a genuine concern and respect that fosters a strong sense of trust and gratitude. Another important aspect of giving help and doing favors is to do so without expecting any recognition or reward. Genuine acts of generosity stem from a sense of selflessness, where we extend help solely because it aligns with our moral compass. When we offer assistance with ulterior motives, such as seeking praise, favors, or material rewards, we compromise the genuineness of our actions and jeopardize the trust and goodwill we have established. By freely offering help and support, without any expectations, we foster a culture of genuine kindness and compassion that motivates others to follow suit. It's important to note that offering assistance and doing favors doesn't always require extravagant gestures or elaborate acts of kindness. Often, the most impactful way to show our care and concern for others is through simple, everyday actions. Offering a listening ear to a friend in need, helping a colleague with a challenging task, or performing a small act of service for a neighbor are all examples of how we can make a difference in someone's life. Performing these acts of kindness consistently and sincerely can have a profound impact on people's lives and spread positivity beyond the initial interaction. Amidst a world that can often feel divided and disconnected, Offering assistance and doing favors can be a powerful means of building bridges and nurturing a sense of community. Extending ourselves to others helps to break down barriers of mistrust and isolation, fostering a sense of shared humanity. Through consistently showing kindness and support, we can inspire others to follow suit, leading to a ripple effect of compassion and generosity that has the power to transform entire communities. By offering assistance and doing kind acts, we can not only fulfill our own needs, but also contribute to a more interconnected, supportive, and flourishing world. We should make an effort to empathize with others, grasp their difficulties and hardships, and react with compassion and empathy. By cultivating empathy, by cultivating empathy, we become more in tune with the needs of others and more willing to provide help and support when necessary. Having a compassionate mindset brings benefits to both others and ourselves. It allows us to experience the joy and fulfillment that comes from making a positive difference in the world. One important aspect of effectively providing assistance and doing favors is actively looking for chances to help others. 
We can proactively seek opportunities to provide assistance and create a positive impact, instead of waiting for others to reach out for help. We can contribute by offering our time and skills to local organizations, supporting friends and colleagues who may be facing challenges, or simply being aware of the needs of those around us in our daily lives. We show our dedication to fostering a culture of compassion and encouraging others to follow suit by actively providing assistance and support, establishing a reputation as a dependable and helpful person requires dedication and a consistent effort over time. By incorporating kindness and generosity into our character and consistently showing our willingness to assist and support others, we become trusted and valued members of our communities. With time. Our reputation for being kind and reliable becomes a valuable asset, enabling us to seize new opportunities and effectively communicate our needs to others. Amidst a society that often values personal gain and individual achievements, offering assistance and doing kind deeds can be seen as a truly transformative gesture. It encourages us to think beyond our own wants and wishes, and to prioritize the welfare of others. When we reach out to others and lend a helping hand, we can make a positive impact that can change lives and communities. By doing this, we not only assist others, but also enhance our own lives, experiencing the happiness and satisfaction that comes from making a positive impact in the world. At its core. Offering assistance and doing kind deeds is rooted in acknowledging our common humanity and the interdependence of everything. When we reach out to others, we recognize that we are all connected and have an important role in building a kinder, more supportive world. Through consistently showing kindness and generosity, we can inspire others to follow suit. Leading to a powerful ripple effect of positivity that has the potential to make a transformative impact on the world. As we go through life and interact with others, it's important to remember the positive impact of offering assistance and doing favors. We should strive to develop a mindset of empathy and compassion, actively looking for chances to help others, and making kindness and generosity an integral part of who we are. By doing this. We can create a world that is more supportive and connected, while also gaining access to what we need from everyone. Ultimately, we discover ourselves by giving to others and extending ourselves. Lesson four: getting them to empathize with you. One of the most effective strategies to get what we need from others is to cultivate empathy. This involves helping others understand and relate to our experiences, emotions, and perspectives. When we can make others understand and relate to us, we tap into a basic part of being human: our natural inclination to connect, support, and assist each other. By understanding and connecting with others on a deeper level, we can establish trust, create strong relationships, and work together towards our objectives. Empathy is fundamentally about comprehending and empathizing with the emotions of another individual. Understanding others requires the capacity to empathize, to view the world from their perspective, and to experience their emotions. Understanding empathy goes beyond mere intellectual comprehension, and allows us to connect with others on a deeper emotional level. The emotional connection forms the basis for trust, cooperation. And mutual support. When we make others understand and relate to our experiences, we form a strong connection that can motivate them to go the extra mile in assisting us with our needs. Storytelling is a powerful tool that can help others understand and empathize with us. Stories have a natural appeal to us as human beings. They can capture our imagination. Evoke our imagination, evoke our emotions, and create a sense of shared experience. Sharing our personal stories allows others to connect with us on a deeper level, as we open up about our challenges, struggles, hopes, and dreams. Through the power of storytelling, we can effectively convey our experiences and emotions, allowing others to gain insight into our perspective and grasp the intricacies of our needs. In order to cultivate empathy through storytelling, it is crucial to maintain authenticity, vulnerability, and specificity. 
We should aim to share not only the facts of our experiences, but also the emotions and personal significance that accompany them. It involves being willing to be vulnerable and allowing others to see our authentic selves, even if that means exposing our weaknesses, fears, or uncertainties. We foster trust and authenticity, which are crucial for empathy to thrive, by being genuine and transparent. Another effective method for fostering empathy is perspective. Taking, which complements storytelling and active listening. It's important to put ourselves in someone else's shoes and think about how we would feel and react in their situation. By putting ourselves in someone else's shoes, we can develop a better grasp of their experiences, obstacles, and motivations. Having a clear understanding can enhance our communication. Enable us to foresee and address concerns or objections and facilitate the discovery of mutually beneficial solutions to problems. Another benefit of perspective taking is that it allows us to cultivate a deeper sense of empathy and goodwill towards others. Understanding that everyone has their own struggles and obstacles makes it simpler to interact with others in a patient, empathetic, and compassionate manner. Having a compassionate mindset is crucial for fostering strong, supportive relationships and cultivating a culture of empathy and mutual care. Finding common ground is an important aspect of getting others to empathize with us. In various situations, there are often common experiences, values, or goals that can help build connections and foster understanding. By actively identifying and emphasizing these shared aspects, we foster a sense of togetherness and common goals that can make it easier for others to understand and connect with our experiences and viewpoints. It's important to understand that empathy doesn't work the same way for everyone. Empathy can vary among people due to their unique life experiences, personalities, and cultural backgrounds. Understanding and connecting with the emotions and experiences of others can come more easily to some people. While others may need additional support and guidance to cultivate their empathic skills, it is crucial to approach the cultivation of empathy with sensitivity, adaptability, and respect for individual differences. A helpful approach to navigate these differences is by cultivating empathy within ourselves. We can inspire others by consistently demonstrating our capacity for understanding, compassion, and kindness. This creates a positive feedback loop, where our empathy contributes to a more empathetic environment, making it easier for others to relate to and support us. The key to getting others to understand us is to foster a shared sense of humanity. It's important to acknowledge that even though we have various differences, we are all connected by our shared hopes, fears, and desires. Through embracing our common humanity, we establish a strong basis for comprehension, collaboration, and reciprocal assistance. To foster a sense of shared humanity, it's crucial to approach others with genuine curiosity, respect, and an open heart. This involves being open to exploring new ideas and viewpoints, embracing diverse experiences, and tackling obstacles and disagreements together with a mindset of cooperation and empathy. It's about understanding that we are all connected and that our own happiness depends on the happiness of others. In a world filled with division, disconnection, and misunderstanding, developing empathy can be a powerful and transformative action. It possesses the ability to overcome obstacles, mend divisions, and foster a fair, empathetic, and interconnected world. When we help others understand our perspective, we not only fulfill our own needs, but also foster a culture of empathy, cooperation, and support. As we navigate the intricacies of human interaction and strive to fulfill our needs from others, it's important to recognize the profound impact of empathy. It's important to approach others with curiosity, respect, and an open heart. We should consistently demonstrate our capacity for understanding, compassion, and kindness. By doing this, we not only foster a more supportive and connected world, but also tap into the core of our shared humanity. In the end, empathy guides us to reconnect with one another, 
while understanding paves the way for a thriving world. Lesson 5. Listen actively and try to understand others' perspectives. Listening actively and seeking to understand others' perspectives will help you effectively communicate and meet your needs. Understanding and connecting with others is crucial for building strong relationships and fostering cooperation. Active listening and empathy play a key role in this process. When we try to obtain what we need from others, it can be tempting to only think about our own goals, desires, and opinions. However, when we make an effort to genuinely listen and understand the perspectives of others, we can enhance our communication, foster stronger connections, and increase our chances of achieving our goals. One way to effectively communicate is by maintaining eye contact, nodding and using facial expressions that show empathy and understanding. When you mirror the speaker's body language and emotions, it helps to establish a strong rapport and connection. This can make the speaker feel understood, acknowledged, and encouraged. This emotional connection facilitates the dismantling of obstacles and encourages a greater sense of trust and receptiveness, creating an environment conducive to more effective and significant discussions. When we come across ideas or perspectives that are new or challenging, it's normal to feel defensive or make assumptions about the speaker's intentions. By asking open-ended, non-judgmental questions, we can gain a deeper understanding of their viewpoint and uncover the reasoning and experiences that have shaped their beliefs. We value the speaker's knowledge and are dedicated to finding common understanding. It's crucial to actively listen and try to understand others' perspectives. Practicing empathy allows us to put ourselves in someone else's shoes and see the world from their point of view. Understanding and connecting with others on a deeper, emotional level is a valuable aspect of empathy. It helps us appreciate the significance of their experiences, even when they are different from our own. Through the practice of empathy, we can establish a connection that fosters resolution of conflicts, strengthens relationships, and discovers mutually advantageous solutions to challenges. Developing empathy requires approaching conversations with an open mind and a willingness to challenge our own assumptions and biases. This involves being open to fresh perspectives, even if they challenge our current convictions, and being ready to explore different viewpoints without criticism or defensiveness. When we adopt a growth mindset and acknowledge that our understanding is never complete, we open ourselves up to learning, growth, and building connections. Another important aspect of comprehending others' viewpoints is to engage in reflective listening. The practice of restating and reflecting the speaker's words and emotions to confirm our understanding of their message. Summarizing the main points, acknowledging feelings, and seeking clarification when necessary are all part of the process. When we reflect back what we've heard, it shows that we're paying attention and genuinely trying to understand. It also allows the speaker to clarify any misunderstandings or expand on their ideas. Don't forget to foster a supportive atmosphere that promotes open and honest communication, in addition to actively listening and understanding others' perspectives. This involves creating an environment where people can freely share their thoughts, emotions, and worries without worrying about being criticized, punished or mocked. When we demonstrate vulnerability, empathy, and respect in our communication, it encourages others to do the same. This helps to build trust and foster understanding in a positive cycle. In order to establish a psychologically safe environment, it is crucial to communicate in a non-judgmental manner and refrain from making assumptions or rushing to conclusions. This involves adopting a mindset of curiosity and a genuine desire to learn during conversations, rather than focusing on proving a point or coming out on top in an argument. Through the act of asking questions, seeking clarification, and showing genuine interest in the perspectives of others, we can foster an environment that makes people feel valued, respected, and heard. Recognizing and acknowledging the role of cultural, social, and personal differences is crucial in understanding others' perspectives. 
These differences shape our beliefs, values, and communication styles. Understanding an issue can vary greatly from person to person, depending on their individual experiences, background, and identity. By embracing cultural humility and having a genuine desire to learn and appreciate these differences, we can foster understanding, find shared values, and cultivate stronger, more inclusive relationships. To effectively navigate cultural and social differences, it's crucial to practice active listening while being mindful of cultural sensitivity. It's important to be aware of how different aspects like culture, race, ethnicity, gender, age, and other factors can impact the way people communicate and their expectations. By learning about these differences, asking polite questions, and being receptive to feedback and correction, we can show our dedication to comprehending and valuing others' viewpoints, even if they differ from our own. We must be self aware and open to examining and adjusting our biases, assumptions, and communication styles when needed. Through self reflection and a compassionate mindset, we can enhance our ability to connect with others by cultivating empathy, adaptability, and flexibility, and flexibility. Seeking feedback from trusted people such as friends, colleagues, or mentors can aid in developing self awareness. Remaining open to constructive criticism and growth opportunities is also beneficial. Through consistent self reflection on our communication patterns and their effects on others, we can pinpoint areas for growth and cultivate new abilities and approaches to enhance our listening and comprehension. In order to achieve our desired outcomes, it is important to engage in conversations with a mindset of collaboration rather than competition. By actively listening and considering different perspectives, we can establish trust, respect, and a shared understanding. This can pave the way for innovative, efficient, and mutually advantageous solutions. Through collaboration and embracing diversity, we can foster stronger and more resilient relationships and communities. As we go through the intricacies of human interaction and strive to meet our needs from others, it's crucial to remember the value of active listening and understanding others' viewpoints. Let's embrace discussions with a receptive attitude, a desire to gain knowledge, and a dedication to finding mutual understanding. Let's collaborate to create a world where everyone's voices are heard, all perspectives are valued, and everyone is treated with dignity and respect. Lesson six. Provide compelling reasons that your idea is good. Offering something of value in return, when appropriate, can help you get what you need from everybody. Essentially, the idea of providing something valuable revolves around comprehending and valuing the needs, desires, and priorities of the people we want to convince. It requires thoughtful consideration of what drives and inspires others. And finding ways to connect our goals with their interests and dreams. When we show our dedication to creating mutually beneficial situations, instead of solely focusing on our own interests, we foster trust, positivity, and a common goal that can lead to new chances for working together and achieving success. Clarity, specificity, and realism are crucial when presenting something valuable. Instead of making ambiguous claims or exaggerating the potential advantages of our ideas, we should aim to offer specific, quantifiable, and attainable results that directly cater to the needs and concerns of our audience. We may need to conduct research, gather data, or seek input from others to make sure our proposals are well informed, feasible, and likely to deliver tangible results. When presenting our offers, It's crucial to convey them in a manner that is engaging, convincing, and straightforward. We can make the information more accessible by using straightforward language, visual aids, or storytelling techniques to illustrate the potential benefits and outcomes of our ideas. By ensuring our offers are appealing and user friendly, we enhance the chances of others being willing to invest their time, energy, and resources in supporting our goals. 
Being flexible, adaptable, and open to negotiation is another crucial aspect of providing something valuable. It's important to have a clear vision and understand that others may have different perspectives, priorities, or constraints that affect their ability to support our ideas. By actively listening, learning, and adapting our approach based on their feedback and input, we show our dedication to finding solutions that work for everyone and our consideration, for their needs and concerns. We may need to consider making changes to our initial proposals, exploring different options, or finding innovative solutions to overcome any potential obstacles or objections. By fostering a collaborative and curious approach, along with a willingness to compromise, we can establish a more inclusive and participatory process. This can ultimately result in improved outcomes and stronger long-term relationships. There are situations where providing something valuable may require making tangible contributions or investments in the success of others. One way to support others is by providing resources, expertise, or connections that can help them reach their goals. Another option is to propose a joint venture or partnership where both parties can share the risks and rewards. When we show our commitment and actively support the goals of others, we establish trust, credibility, and a sense of shared responsibility that can greatly encourage cooperation and collaboration. However, it's worth noting that providing something valuable doesn't always necessitate an immediate or direct trade of goods or services. Often, the most effective offers are the ones that resonate with people on a deeper level, tapping into their needs, values, and aspirations. These offers go beyond simple transactions, creating a sense of meaning, purpose, and connection. For instance, we can provide others with the chance to be part of a greater purpose, to contribute to a cause or mission that resonates with their values and interests, or to acquire new skills, knowledge, or relationships that can enhance their personal and professional lives. By understanding and connecting with these underlying motivations and desires, we can create a strong sense of value that will inspire others to join us in pursuing us in pursuing our common goals and dreams. We prioritize transparency by openly discussing any possible limitations, risks, or challenges that may arise with our offers. We take proactive measures to address and minimize these concerns in a responsible and ethical manner. When we are open and responsible in our interactions with others, we establish a solid basis of trust and respect that can withstand the challenges that arise in any joint effort. It is crucial to be strategic and selective in how and when we provide something valuable, while also maintaining genuineness and transparency. The principle of reciprocity is a powerful tool for building relationships and achieving our goals. However, it is important to use it thoughtfully and consider the context and implications of our actions. There are situations where providing something of value may not be suitable, required, or successful in convincing others to back our ideas. For instance, if we want to tackle a significant social or environmental issue that demands collaboration and sacrifice, focusing on personal benefits or incentives could weaken the feeling of unity and shared goals that are crucial for achieving success. In the same way, if we want to support a cause or mission, that is based on values like justice, compassion, or service to others, it's important not to prioritize external rewards or benefits too much. Doing so could weaken the moral and ethical principles that underpin our work. In these situations, it might be more impactful to emphasize the value and significance of our ideas and motivate others to join us based on their personal sense of purpose, values, and dedication to making a positive impact in the world. By tapping into these underlying sources of motivation and meaning, we can establish a genuine and long-lasting sense of value that goes beyond simple transactions and fosters collaboration and impact. To develop this skill, it's important to engage in our interactions with others, by being empathetic, curious, and open to listening and learning. By gaining insight into their viewpoints, backgrounds, and motivations, 
We can create offers that connect with their aspirations, desires, and principles, and that generate a feeling of enthusiasm, potential, and collaboration in the results we aim to accomplish. It's crucial to approach things with a thoughtful and genuine mindset, making sure that what we offer is valuable and aligns with our commitment to others' success and well-being. We establish trust, credibility, and a reputation for leadership by consistently demonstrating integrity, reliability, and dedication. This can open doors, inspire cooperation, and drive meaningful change in the world. Lesson seven: Offer something of value in return when appropriate. Understanding the dynamics of human interaction and being able to effectively persuade others relies on a basic principle: reciprocity. It's important to understand that when we ask for help or resources, people are more likely to be open to our requests if they see that they will also gain something from it. By providing something valuable in return, when appropriate, we establish a mutually beneficial relationship that motivates others to support our ideas, goals, and dreams. Essentially, the idea of providing something valuable. Revolves around comprehending and valuing the needs, desires, and priorities of the people we want to convince. It requires thoughtful consideration of what drives and inspires others, and finding ways to connect our goals with their interests and dreams. When we show our dedication to creating mutually beneficial situations instead of solely focusing on our own interests, we foster trust, positivity. And a common goal that can lead to new chances for working together and achieving success. Clarity, specificity, and realism are crucial when presenting something valuable. Instead of making ambiguous claims or exaggerating the potential advantages of our ideas, we should aim to offer specific, quantifiable, and attainable results that directly cater to the needs and concerns of our audience. We may need to conduct research, gather data, or seek input from others to make sure our proposals are well informed, feasible, and likely to deliver tangible results. When presenting our offers, it's crucial to convey them in a manner that is engaging, convincing, and straightforward. We can make the information more accessible by using straightforward language, visual aids, or storytelling techniques. To illustrate the potential benefits and outcomes of our ideas, by ensuring our offers are appealing and user-friendly, we enhance the chances of others being willing to invest their time, energy, and resources in supporting our goals. Being flexible, adaptable, and open to negotiation is another crucial aspect of providing something valuable. It's important to have a clear vision and understand that others may have different perspectives, priorities, or constraints that affect their ability to support our ideas. By actively listening, learning, and adapting our approach based on their feedback and input, we show our dedication to finding solutions that work for everyone and our consideration for their needs and concerns. We may need to consider making changes to our initial proposals. Exploring different options or finding innovative solutions to overcome any potential obstacles or objections, by fostering a collaborative and curious approach, along with a willingness to compromise, we can establish a more inclusive and participatory process. This can ultimately result in improved outcomes and stronger long-term relationships. There are situations where providing something valuable may require making tangible contributions or investments in the success of others. One way to support others is by providing resources, expertise, or connections that can help them reach their goals. Another option is to propose a joint venture or partnership, where both parties can share the risks and rewards. When we show our commitment and actively support the goals of others, we establish trust. Credibility, and a sense of shared responsibility that can greatly encourage cooperation and collaboration. However, it's worth noting that providing something valuable doesn't always necessitate an immediate or direct trade of goods or services. 
Often, the most effective offers are the ones that resonate with people on a deeper level, tapping into their needs, values, and aspirations. These offers go beyond simple transactions, creating a sense of meaning, purpose, and connection. Another important aspect of providing something valuable is to be sincere, genuine, and open about our intentions and actions. It is crucial to honor our promises and commitments to others, even when they present challenges or difficulties. We establish a strong reputation for trustworthiness and dependability by consistently demonstrating integrity, reliability, and commitment to the success of others. This reputation becomes a valuable asset in persuading and influencing others in the long run. We prioritize transparency by openly discussing any possible limitations, risks, or challenges that may arise with our offers. We take proactive measures to address and minimize these concerns in a responsible and ethical manner. When we are open and responsible in our interactions with others, we establish a solid basis of trust and respect that can withstand the challenges that arise in any joint effort. There are situations where providing something of value may not be suitable, required or successful in convincing others to back our ideas. For instance, if we want to tackle a significant social or environmental issue that demands collaboration and sacrifice, focusing on personal benefits or incentives could weaken the feeling of unity and shared goals that are crucial for achieving success. In the same way, if we want to support a cause or mission that is based on values like justice, compassion, or service to others, it's important not to prioritize external rewards or benefits too much. Doing so could weaken the moral and ethical principles that underpin our work. In these situations, it might be more impactful to emphasize the value and significance of our ideas and motivate others to join us based on their personal sense of purpose, values, and dedication to making a positive impact in the world. By tapping into these underlying sources of motivation and meaning, we can establish a genuine and long-lasting sense of value that goes beyond simple transactions and fosters collaboration and impact. To develop this skill, it's important to engage in our interactions with others by being empathetic, curious, and open to listening and learning. By gaining insight into their viewpoints, backgrounds, and motivations, we can create offers that connect with their aspirations, desires, and principles, and that generate a feeling of enthusiasm, potential, and collaboration in the results we aim to accomplish. It's crucial to approach things with a thoughtful and genuine mindset, making sure that what we offer is valuable and aligns with our commitment to others' success and well-being. We establish trust, credibility, and a reputation for leadership by consistently demonstrating integrity, reliability, and dedication. This can open doors, inspire cooperation, and drive meaningful change in the world. Lesson 8. Be flexible and willing to compromise. These qualities are essential for achieving success and meeting our needs in relationships. In personal relationships, professional settings, or community initiatives, it's important to be open-minded and flexible. When we only focus on our own viewpoints and desires, it can lead to gridlock, frustration, and missed opportunities. When we approach situations with an open mind and a willingness to work together, we can foster collaboration, understanding, and create solutions that benefit everyone. We need to take the time to understand our audience's motivations, values, and concerns, and then customize our message and approach accordingly. This will ensure that our communication is clear and easy to understand. We can make this process more accessible by rethinking our ideas in relation to their priorities and aspirations, finding common ground based on shared goals and values, or being open to adjusting our timeline, scope, or deliverables to better fit their constraints and resources. We can build trust, credibility, and a sense of shared ownership in the outcomes we aim for by being open to others' perspectives and working together to find solutions. It is crucial to consider the importance of flexibility and understanding 
when collaborating with people who have different power dynamics, status, or cultural backgrounds. Failing to do so can result in misunderstandings, resentment, and a breakdown in communication and cooperation. Another important aspect of being open to compromise is the skill of prioritizing and concentrating on the most crucial elements of our goals and objectives. When dealing with complex negotiations or collaborations, it's common to encounter various competing interests and priorities. It's important to recognize that it may not always be feasible to achieve all of our initial goals. By having a clear understanding of our core values, non-negotiables, and desired outcomes, we can navigate trade. Offs more effectively. This allows us to find areas where we can be flexible while still securing the most important aspects of our vision. We may need to be open to releasing certain details, timelines, or approaches that are not crucial to our success, in order to gather support for the main aspects of our ideas. Understanding others' perspectives may require a sense of humility and openness to different viewpoints. When we view compromise as an essential and valuable aspect of collaboration, rather than a sign of weakness or defeat, we foster a more positive and effective environment for reaching agreements and making advancements. Naturally, maintaining flexibility and a willingness to compromise does not imply completely forsaking our principles, values, or core objectives. There may be situations where the difference between our own viewpoint and that of others is too large to overcome, or when the compromises being requested would greatly weaken the integrity or effectiveness of our ideas. It's crucial to communicate our boundaries and non-negotiables clearly and confidently in these situations. If a deal or partnership doesn't align with our core values and goals, we should be ready to walk away. Nevertheless, even in these scenarios, adopting a flexible and cooperative approach remains beneficial for preserving relationships, fostering goodwill, and ensuring potential future collaborations. When we communicate our position clearly and respectfully, and show a willingness to keep the conversation going and consider other options, we build trust and understanding. This can be beneficial in the long run. Even if a particular negotiation or partnership doesn't work out right away, in any intricate undertaking, there are bound to be challenges, hurdles, and unforeseen circumstances that can disrupt even the most well thought out strategies. By embracing a mindset of growth, curiosity, and adaptability, we can often discover alternative solutions to these challenges. Another approach is to experiment with various methods. Or technologies. Additionally, breaking down big objectives into smaller, achievable tasks can help make them more manageable. By embracing feedback, iteration, and course correction, we establish a robust and flexible framework to accomplish our goals, even when faced with uncertainty and change. In order to foster a mindset of adaptability and a readiness to find common ground. It is crucial to engage in active listening, show empathy, and consider different perspectives when communicating with others. We can achieve a better understanding of the world by putting aside our own assumptions and biases, and making an effort to see things from the perspective of those we want to persuade or work together with. Understanding others involves being interested in their experiences, values, and motivations, and seeking common ground to establish trust and discover mutually beneficial solutions. Being flexible and open to compromise is about understanding that we are all interconnected in a web of relationships, dependencies, and shared interests. Our own success and well-being are closely linked to the success and well-being of those around us. When we work together. Understand each other, and find common ground. We can build a better world for ourselves and future generations. Lesson nine: Make them think it's their idea. One effective method to achieve your goals is to make others believe that the idea or solution was their own. When people have a strong sense of ownership and investment in an idea, they are much more inclined to fully embrace it, champion it, and put in the necessary effort to make it a reality. By effectively guiding others towards desired conclusions and allowing them to take credit for their ideas, 
you can tap into their intrinsic motivation, creativity, and commitment. This can help you achieve your goals and bring about meaningful change. The essence of making others believe an idea is their own lies in grasping the influence of suggestion. The significance of attentive listening and the worth of enabling others to take charge. Instead of just imposing your own opinions or answers, it's about fostering a cooperative and inclusive atmosphere where people feel listened to, appreciated, and motivated to share their own ideas and viewpoints. By using effective communication techniques, you can help others understand and agree with your ideas without being too forceful. This approach encourages them to take ownership of the conclusions you want them to reach, which can be more influential than simply giving orders. To effectively influence others, it is crucial to have a thorough understanding of their needs, goals, and motivations. What motivates them? What difficulties and obstacles do they face? What are their goals and motivations? When you actively listen and show genuine interest in others' perspectives and experiences, you can establish trust, report, and a shared sense of purpose. This sets the stage for effective collaboration and influence. With this knowledge, you can start shaping the conversation and leading the brainstorming process to achieve your goals. One way to achieve this is by asking questions that encourage others to think creatively and make connections. Additionally, you can support your point of view by providing relevant data or examples. Lastly, it can be helpful to emphasize the potential benefits and impact of the ideas you want to promote by fostering an environment that encourages open and respectful communication. You can make others feel valued and engaged in the ideas that are generated. Even if those ideas align with your own objectives, being patient, persistent, and strategic in your approach is crucial for making others think an idea is their own. It's not always easy to get others to fully embrace your ideas after just one conversation or interaction. Instead, it typically involves a series of deliberate and strategic actions, each aimed at gaining support. Creating momentum and gradually influencing the thoughts and actions of the people you want to impact. One way to approach this is by starting with small sparks of inspiration and curiosity, and then fostering their growth through continuous conversation, teamwork, and assistance. Breaking down larger goals into smaller, more manageable steps can be helpful. It's also important to celebrate progress and successes along the way. Being open to feedback and input from others is important in order to adapt and improve your approach over time, which can help build trust and credibility. Naturally, helping others perceive an idea as their own is not about manipulating or deceiving them. It's important to avoid manipulating others or expecting them to unquestioningly follow your guidance. Instead. The focus is on fostering a collaborative and empowering atmosphere that values people, listens to their input, and motivates them to contribute their best. It's all about harnessing the knowledge and creativity of the group, and steering the conversation in a way that matches your objectives and values, while still respecting the independence and influence of those you want to persuade. In order to do this effectively. It's crucial to maintain transparency, authenticity, and ethicality in your approach. It's important to be transparent about your intentions and motivations, and make sure that the ideas and solutions you advocate for truly benefit the people you aim to help. It involves being open to receiving and integrating feedback and input from others, even if it may question your own assumptions or preferences. It involves being open to relinquishing your ego and desire for control, and having faith in the strength of collaboration and co-creation to bring about significant and enduring transformation. Creating a sense of urgency and momentum around the ideas you wish to promote is another crucial aspect of influencing others to think an idea is their own. Ideas that feel timely, relevant, and impactful are more likely to be embraced and acted upon by people. When ideas tap into their own sense of purpose and passion, they become even more compelling. By emphasizing the potential benefits and opportunities of your ideas and painting a vivid picture of success, 
you can help others recognize the value and significance of taking action. This can motivate them to become enthusiastic supporters and advocates for the cause. One way to make your message more accessible is by using storytelling and narrative techniques. By painting a clear picture of the future you want to create and connecting it to the values, aspirations, and experiences of your audience, you can effectively influence them. You may need to use data and evidence to create a compelling argument for change and to show how your proposed solutions are feasible and impactful. It can also include giving others the chance to step up and lead so they can play a key role in shaping the future they desire. By fostering an environment that encourages autonomy, mastery, and purpose, and by effectively guiding others to reach desired conclusions and solutions, you can unleash a strong force for innovation, collaboration, and impact. In all aspects of life, including personal relationships, professional endeavors, and driving social and environmental change, the power to influence others by making them believe an idea is their own can be a powerful tool for achieving your goals and making the world a better place. Naturally, as with any powerful tool, it is important to handle the art of making others think an idea is their own with caution, accountability, and honesty. It should never be used to manipulate or exploit others or to prioritize personal gain over the common good. Instead, it should be viewed as a means of empowering and motivating others to take action and work together towards common goals and values that benefit everyone. It's crucial to approach things strategically and purposefully, while also having a clear understanding of your goals, values, and vision for the future. This can assist you in navigating the intricacies and difficulties of influencing others and guarantee that your efforts are in line with your core purpose and aspirations. The key to making others think an idea is their own is understanding how everything is connected and dependent on each other. Collaboration and co-creation have the power to bring about significant and long-lasting change. It's all about harnessing the power of our human nature our capacity to dream, innovate, build relationships, and collaborate for a brighter tomorrow. By developing this skill and mindset and sharing it with others to encourage them to make a difference, we can open up new opportunities for creativity, teamwork, and positive change, and build a better world for future generations. Let's appreciate the skill of guiding others to believe an idea is their own, and use it responsibly for the benefit of all. Final lesson. Stop settling for less. Embrace the strength of self-assurance and let it shine from within, motivating others to have faith in you and your goals. By offering sincere compliments and support to those around you, you will witness how they can become your strongest allies and advocates. Make a conscious effort to actively listen and show empathy aiming to develop a deeper understanding and connection with others. Express your thoughts clearly and passionately and see how others enthusiastically support your cause. Embrace flexibility and be willing to compromise, recognizing that success often comes from a journey of growth, learning, and adaptation rather than a straightforward path. Provide value to others when appropriate and establish mutually beneficial relationships based on trust, respect, and a common purpose. And when the time is appropriate, help others to adopt your ideas as their own, creating a sense of ownership and commitment that will drive your vision forward. Keep in mind, the path to achieving what you desire from others may not always be straightforward, but the end result is incredibly fulfilling. It takes bravery, determination, and a readiness to venture beyond your comfort zone. You are required to face your own limiting beliefs, fears, and doubts, and overcome them with unwavering determination. But above all, it encourages you to have faith in yourself, in your innate value and potential, and in your power to manifest the life you genuinely want. It encourages you to dream big, to set ambitious goals, and to pursue them with enthusiasm and determination. As you finish reading this book and venture into the world, remember that you possess the necessary tools, knowledge, and strength 
to stop accepting mediocrity and begin shaping the life you truly deserve. Embrace your inner strength. Have faith in your path. And always remember that the only boundaries that exist are the ones you set for yourself. You have the power to make a lasting impact on the world and create a legacy of positive change. Proceed with confidence, courage, and the steadfast belief that you possess the ability to shape your own future. Don't accept anything less than what you deserve.